What's the beat on the street? Well, the U.S. military expects to station 20,000 troops inside the U.S. by 2011 in order to help state and local officials respond and assist in homeland security. What's the beat on the street? President-elect Barack Obama has announced New Mexico Governor Bill Richardson as his nominee to head the Department of Commerce. What's the beat on the street? Afghanistan joined over 90 other nations in ratifying a treaty banning cluster bombs. The U.S. led a group of larger nations in refusing to sign the treaty. Cluster bombs kill 98% civilians and 27% of them are children. What's the beat on the street? Tuition and fees have increased by 439% since 1982. The cost of attending a four-year public school is 28% of the average family's income, while a private school is would be 76%. What's the beat on the street? Can't keep a good man down. Gold is back up. Closed this Friday at 7.55 an ounce. More online journalists are jailed today than journalists in any other media. Uh, the most recent report put out by the Center to Protect Journalists reported that 43% of all media workers were bloggers, web-based reporters, or online journalists. What's the beat on the street? Our executives, they went to Washington this week to get money for a bailout. GM faces bankruptcy if they don't get $4 billion, and they already asked for a total of $18 billion. Chrysler asked for $7 billion, and Ford asked for $9 billion for a line of credit. What's the beat on the street? Police shot and killed a 16-year-old boy in Greece. Violent protests erupted as youth took to the streets. What's the beat on the street? In Zimbabwe, authorities have declared a national emergency over a cholera, cholera outbreak. More than 500 have died so far, and over 11,000 have been infected. Iraq has approved the status of the, uh, the forces agreement with the U.S. The, uh, this deal calls for the removal of the U.S. troops uh, by the year end of 2011. What's the beat on the street? New figures show the U.S. lost 533,000 jobs last month. It's the biggest monthly loss in 34 years. <laughs>